you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and y'all we are getting into another conditioner call today's is the urban hydration jamaican castor oil and avocado co-wash and conditioner and as y'all see i am showing y'all that we don't have a whole lot left in this bottle but i went ahead and pre-pooed with the y'all know just for me pre-poo y'all know i love her and i'm going to shampoo really quickly quickly with the carol's daughter rasul clay shampoo boom so i'm back and as you guys can see that back section is where we are going to start off with so i'm rinsing out the shampoo my hair was nice and clean that carol's daughter um shampoo is not um moisturizing or stripping i think it lies somewhere right in the middle so i just want to let you guys know really quickly i picked up these this um conditioner from marshall's and it was 5.99 i do have a couple other urban hydration products in my stash so y'all will be seeing some reviews from them soon but let's go ahead and start get started on the conditioner so i started out here with six pumps And that's what the conditioner texture looks like it's pretty thick it has some stuff some substance there um it doesn't have a ton of slip um you can feel that immediately in your hands it doesn't really smell like much of anything it just smells you know clean like a clean hair product so i'm just going ahead and applying the product of course making sure that i get it on all of my strands y'all can see by my face i was like mm, you know i don't really know how i feel about it i don't think that this conditioner has the most slip um so i added some more water and a few more pumps of conditioner so i used 10 pumps of conditioner on this quadrant total um just to, girl like i said it just don't have a slip like that and i hadn't even fingered the tangled at that point but i could feel that so um yeah i'm just going ahead and working that into my hair i wanted to try something new for today's conditioner call because now that i have a better bathroom setup um i think it would be better to show you guys how i use my rinse out conditioners in the way that i actually use them instead of getting out the shower but let me know how you guys feel about this so if you guys like the older version let me know and if you guys like the newer version that's cool too let me know just so that i can make sure that i'm doing whatever you guys think would be more, most beneficial to you guys so here I'm going ahead and I am starting to finger detangle and I went in with pretty large clumps um, because I wanted, I, chow, I, like I said, the slip is just not there. As you guys saw, I just keep going in with conditioner because the slip just is not there and I felt like I was losing a lot more hair than usual that I, you know, typically do and obviously while i'm in the shower i am jamming out so today i was listening to kendrick lamar's section 80 album so let me know down below if you have listened to this album as well as drop some other things that i should listen to during my wash day down below i love new music recommendations i love music let's 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 talk about that down below y'all i feel like i lost so much hair but this is what my hair looked like with the conditioner so i just let the conditioner sit as i do it across the rest of my head so i'm back with a section right here in the front and i grabbed those initial six pumps of conditioner because i felt like this had a six pump minimum and again i'm applying it to my hair so that it is everywhere across that section more hair like the hair just kept coming and i pre-poo y'all so i went in again with those same four pumps so 10 pumps total on each quadrant which means i use 40 pumps of conditioner which again y'all is insane to me okay absolutely insane 
um, I'm gonna tell y'all right now I probably wouldn't repurchase this conditioner off the sheer fact alone that I had to use so much of it but also the slit wasn't really there the moisture's not there y'all know I really don't look for a whole lot in my conditioners but slip and moisture we gotta have those those are the we gotta have them those are the sole purposes as y'all can see I had a knot here and I had to go off screen and get that together real quick but this is what I come back looking with looking like after my hair is rinsed out from the conditioner and mm -mm, like the answer is just no like my hair it looks decent but my hair was definitely kind of dry y'all know um my hair typically is not this big after coming straight from up under the shower so you can see that my hair was in need of some moisture so y'all know that I, I always follow up with a um, deep conditioner anyway but this one right here was just a no and I had it upside down because I have one more use in it. Um, I actually have an empties video coming real soon, y'all. I have been finishing products like nobody's business. But um, it was it was a no for me, y'all. But, you know, it's okay. You know, it's all right. When you win some, you lose some. But that's the end of today's video. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.